Hi, I'm Yam Newen. I'm Jenny Brown. And we're from The Property Investing Formula, Excellent. which is a book. Yes, it is. It and is. today we're going to give you a tip about land subdivision. Why is land subdivision so critical and why is it such an exciting process, Jen? Well, I've made a lot of money out of subdivision. What Tell about me about you? it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a great little thing. And you know, it's, it's a strategy that you can do very small. Uh, subdivisions on like a one into two by that I mean you could buy a block of land and subdivide it into two or you can do something much bigger by buying one and going into nine or um, my dad did a two into three and uh, so there's lots of different variations but if you do your numbers right and you've got your your market right and all that type of thing it, it can be a very very valuable and very profitable little tool yeah and it's a strategy I believe I wouldn't say it's a beginner strategy it's probably more intermediate to advanced but oh, you know nobody what? told me that that was one of the first things I made money on well <laughs> yeah, you got it right but the thing is if you get this wrong you can lose a lot of money yeah, that's, as well. that's so, so true I've seen people do that yes too. Yeah. so you know on the recent project I did a nine lot subdivision I'm working on a 13 lot at the moment and you know one of the things you've got to look out for especially when you're doing land subdivision is what we call the services right services I, I call it the five fingers there's water Water, storm water, um, sewerage, energetics, and uh, telephone. So, you know, when you're doing land subdivision, you need to check with your local council what the rules are and what the constraints are. And, you know, it's one of those things that you can make a lot of money on. What, corner blocks? Is that where yeah, you start? Yeah, corner blocks. Well, yeah, we've done all sorts of things, but corner blocks is a, a great little strategy. You know, if you can find a corner block that has uh, a house on one side, you've got two street access, and if they're the right sizes and everything, and that's another tip. Make sure you check with your local council as to what the minimum requirements for land size are. But yeah, it, corner blocks are great, you know, doing uh, little battle axe blocks. That's and, it. And as you said, you can get much bigger if you want to as exactly. well. Exactly. A battle axe block is one where you have one strip frontage, a long, narrow block, let's say, keep the house at the front and cut a block off at the back. And why that's pretty cool is that you can get the rental income at the front or you can renovate the house at the front, um, sell the back block off and keep the house at the front as a positive kid property. You know, I recently well, did Or you a... could build something on the back. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, I recently did, like I said, a nine lot subdivision where it had three street frontage and it was an absolute gem and I didn't have to put roads on any of the frontages. All the blocks had their own street frontage and I spent zero on uh, road construction and I just spent the money on the rest on the services. So, you know, land subdivision is very, very powerful. You just gotta be open minded enough and, and know enough of the rules to be able to uh, overcome some of the challenges as well as grasp the opportunities. You know and one other thing I would add to that is that one of the reasons why you're so successful at it is because you can see outside the box. Sure, Most people you. looking at where you have done that, for example the one in nine subdivision, yes. wouldn't have seen the opportunity there. Yes. So, so another tip yes. for, for, the, for the guys watching the video is to be open to the opportunities. Learn a little bit about subdivision and then you'll see it in, in a much broader range yeah, and, and yes, where the opportunities Exactly, and I always talk about think big and, and start small and as you get better and better, you start, because you know, when you're doing bigger projects, funding is not as easy, you need more capital, more debt, and, and then you do, in some ways, take bigger risks. But if you're skilled, it removes those risks significantly. Yes, but, and we're all about removing risk. Absolutely. As best we can. Yeah, that's it. So now, that's today's tip, guys, on, on subdivision. How do they find out more about our book, Jim? Well, if you go to www.propertyinvestingformula.com and if you go forward slash book. What do they get? Oh, a free mystery gift. People love free gifts, don't they? Yeah, they do. And we <laughs> love giving them, don't we? Exactly. We do. So mystery gifts, some more tips, and uh, of course, buy the book. Excellent. See you next time, Young Ewan. Jenny Brown. Bye. Bye.